from what I've seen from footage uh, I've seen of, of Rodney Wallace, he looks like uh, he's primarily a wrestler with uh, a stocky build. I mean, he's fighting at 205 and he's five foot nine. So he's probably walking around about 215 or 220 pounds at five foot nine, thinking he's uh, really short, stocky for that weight class. It was so hard for me to get fights, period. And um, the last fi four fights, five fights I've had, were all fights that I got because of cancellations. And uh, except one, except the fight with Dwayne Lewis. That one I had several months to get ready for. But the fight against Tim Hag, that was because uh, somebody got hurt or pulled out and then I fought him on short notice. Um, the same thing with Clay Davidson, the same thing with... Um, uh, every pretty much all the last the last few guys that I fought. Yeah, well, uh, moved up to fight him at heavyweight, and he's cutting to 265 pounds. I was about 215, 216 pounds. I felt like he was uh, a lot slower than me. I don't think he had a better better chin than I did. Um, I think it was. Uh, I outboxed him for three rounds and I stood up with him intentionally to, because I wanted to outbox him. And uh, I tried not to throw too many kicks because he had uh, some kind of a leg injury on in his calf or his shin or something like that. And um, yeah, and since that fight, he said that he wanted to have rematches with me a few times, but I've tried to set up fights with Tim two or three times since then. And uh, he's, he's, uh, he wouldn't agree to fight me, so I don't know what he's talking about. He, he wants a rematch, but then he won't fight me, so I don't know what that is. No, I think, I think it's a couple of things. I think, one, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a, not an easy opponent, and I, have, I don't have the best reputation, so people think, uh, they talk like I'm a pushover and I'm an easy fight, but then when it actually comes time to fight, they won't. And um, perfect examples are like Misha Serkinov, um, Tim Hag, uh, Dwayne Lewis, Victor Valimaki, Smilino Rama. I can give you a whole list of all these guys who are supposed to be the top guys in light heavyweight and heavyweight in Canada who won't fight. So why won't they fight? I mean, I, I'm uh, I should be uh, the perfect guy to fight. I'm a, I'm older, and also I've fought in the UFC. I have a I have a I've fought all over the place. I've fought, I've fought almost all the, you know, a lot of top fighters in my life. I mean, I'm a good guy to beat. Why wouldn't they come and beat me if I'm so easy to beat? Why don't you come and fight then? Right? Well, yeah, and I've fought pretty much almost all the top guys in Canada close to my weight class. Um, you know, Patrick Cote, uh, uh, Joe Dirksen, um, Jason McDonald and Tim, Tim Hag, all those guys, right? I mean, it just gives you, it gives you a certain amount of confidence when you, fight, uh, when you fight top people like that or guys you've watched for years on TV and then you go in and fight them and realize that, hey, I can, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just as good as these guys, right? Like, I went the distance with Patrick Cote. Um, I took him down early in the fight and took his back and I was on his back the whole first round. In the second round and third round, I, saw, I realized that all this about uh, how hard he hit and, and everything, for, for me, it felt like he didn't really seem to hit very hard at all. It felt like uh, I should have stood up and boxed him the whole time. I should have been the guy cutting off the ring and walking him down and punching him in the face. But I'd, I'd, I'd listened, you know, and believed a lot of the stuff that I'd heard, uh, you know what I mean, going into the fight. But it really, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd like to have another fight there for sure. And a lot of these guys that have been ducking me up here in Canada have been getting shots in the UFC, right? And um, I, would, I would love to have another fight there, of course. Well, I'm looking to knock Rodney Wallace out in the first or second round. I'd be amazed if he actually wanted to stand up and box with me in there. 
Um, I don't think he's going to last at all. I think I have a better chin. I'm faster, I'm taller, and I hit harder than him. And I don't think he has a chance to fight me standing at all. I hope he tries to stand up with me. Well, what next is a tough question because I've been trying to get a fight in Canada since I knocked out Dwayne Lewis uh, a year and a half ago in Vancouver. And uh, I haven't been able to get a fight at heavyweight or light heavyweight or middleweight anywhere in the country. So, I mean, a, I, I would like to fight the top light heavyweights and top heavyweights in Canada, but I can't uh, seem to get those guys to fight. Anybody, any light heavyweight or heavyweight in the country, yeah, I'm calling them out, yeah. I'd fight, I'll fight any of them, yeah.